Developing tonight, Metro's third police involved shooting in just four days. The latest gunfire near 9th Street in Bonanza. I, I heard probably about 10, yeah. It looked like it sounded about someone unloaded a full gun. And reporter Sasha Gomez right now is live at that scene where police just revealed some uh, new details here tonight, Sasha. Todd, that is correct. Now, just not too far from where I'm at, right here on 9th Street in Bonanza, is where uh, a, a man is now in critical condition after being shot by Las Vegas Metro. Now, neighbors tell me they heard multiple gunshots, around 10 of them, as you just heard. Now, a neighbor did who, who did not want to go on camera says she lives right across from where the shooting took place. And in fact, she says a man was waving his gun around, and police did confirm that man was waving his gun as well. But police say this all started around 2.45 when they got a call from a man saying his son was chasing him with a gun and it happened near Las Vegas Boulevard and the 95 near Seagull Suites for those that are not familiar. And again, this is also the third officer involved shooting since Friday. Neighbors say it was a Hispanic man who was shot, but police did not confirm that. But I can tell you Metro address how these officers involved shootings can take a toll on the department. The toll that it takes is that in all three of these instances, we had suspects that were very dangerous and they had firearms. And in two of those cases, we know for a fact that they were pointed at our officers. And police have. And police have east of Las Vegas Boulevard blocked off all the way to east to almost Maryland. So that's about 7th Street through 11th Street. Now, police are asking people to please cooperate with their investigation as they have a lot of people in the area asking what's going on and wanting to get through here. And they're asking for people to be mindful and cautious of this area. Sasha Gomez, 13 Action News, elevating Las Vegas.